Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Pick 6 Week 5. You might be wondering, where is Nick Coit? Is he playing hooky again on a Friday? No, actually. He made the trip from here in Providence down to Westerly for our primetime matchup tonight. It's the Bulldogs against Central. The long trip, as true Rhode Islanders would say, to the other end of the state for our week five prime time matchup. Westerly, the hosts, central the visitors for this one. Both programs with winning records so far this season. For the Bulldogs, they had to play without their young standout QB, Landon Houston, the sophomore in a walking boot. So Caleb Williams, not to be confused with the Chicago Bears top draft pick. This Williams moving from receiver to under center tonight. This game a defensive stalemate until the Knights finally get in the end zone in the second quarter. Evan Soto, the QB keeper. The officials making sure he was over the goal line. Arms go up, missed extra points, so it was 6 0 Knights. But the Bulldogs responding on the other end after a bad snap on a punt by Central. Westerly makes it hurt. Williams to Samson Farrell because he's happy to make the grab for the score. Westerly makes its extra point, so it was 7-6 Bulldogs at the break. Third quarter, the Bulldogs extending their lead. Williams quickly tosses up for Tyler Brayman, who's wide open, makes the grab, goes in for the score, extends it to 14-6 Bulldogs, upset brewing. But late in the third, the Knights settling things down with their rushing attack. Ramel Richards is in. He got the deficit down to 14-12. Then early in the fourth, some toughness again from the QB Soto after a couple of keepers gets his team to the goal line. The senior breaks the plane, completes the comeback. Central takes the lead 18-14. Most of the fourth quarter, a defensive battle, but the exclamation point coming late when Richard Bridges builds Central's path to clinching the victory. The long touchdown run by Bridges ends the night. Central scoring 20 unanswered to win this one 26-14 over Westerly. Quarterback Evan Soto, our pick six primetime performer. Here with our week five primetime performer, it is quarterback Evan Soto for Central. And Evan, we were talking about it, walking over to the camera here. Uh, a lot of adversity in this game for you and your team, but 20, uh, 20 unanswered points in the second half. Just how did you guys come through there in the second half? Man, the speech coach gave us, halftime speech, man, it clicked a lot of people's heart. And we just had to come out here and we had to show them that this is what we do. When you go through adversity, I'm sure that, you know, you look at it and you say, man, you feel like you earned a victory when you got on the bus tonight. For sure, for sure earned this victory. We came out here and, you know, it, was, it wasn't looking too, it wasn't looking too pretty. We came out here, it was a dog fight, and then second, second half, came out here and we dominated. You and Coach had a nice moment there on the sideline after Richard ran that long touchdown there in the fourth quarter. Just w what did he what did he tell tell you there? He said, I don't even re really remember. I was so into the moment myself. I was just like, yo, we really just did that. I was just super happy that my boy Richard, my boy Richard just scored. How can that help you going forward, the fact that a lot of guys can contribute? That's just how we practice and going forward that's just the mentality we need to have every game the second half mentality we need to have that evan soto our prime time performer for week five here central defeats westerly what a great game nice comeback and way to close it out by the knights want to be a fly on the wall in the locker room there to hear what head coach Mike Washington said to his team. But you can see from the footage that Nick gathered there just what a difference he makes with this team. You remember what Central's football team was like before he took over, really playing competitively now in Division I, surviving the scare against that Division II team. Now we take a look at the last undefeated team in Division I, St. Ray's at the top of the standings in a longtime Pawtucket rivalry game against Tolman. Homecoming for the Saints against their crosstown rivals, Thanksgiving matchup till about 20 years years ago the Tigers down one in the second quarter slant pattern from Noah Taylor to Hasten Ortiz that's a touchdown Tolman takes the lead it's 12 to 7 few minutes left in the half they're in the red zone again but the ball comes out recovered on the play by Nelson Martinez St. Ray's able to rally and win here 14 to 12 on the grass in Coventry Mike Mount Pleasant Taking the trip out to play the Oakers and the Kilties with a threat here. Pass over the middle to Jose Perez. He sees the goal line but is brought down at the one yard line. MP doesn't punch it in there. You know who does? Coventry. Nathan Petraca through a wide open hole. Home team going up three scores and Coventry goes on to win 34 to 6. The Townie Band's seniors recognized after their halftime performance, their parents 
on the field for the break as East Providence plays Shea. This here is the second half kickoff. Now it bounces to one of the stars of pick six this year. Shea Dan, I can't feel my face when I'm with you, but I love it. Shea Dan Love It takes this all the way to the house. EP up big and they win big, 42 to nothing over the Raiders. Middletown ripping through the big M onto the field for their matchup with Cranston East down on Aquidneck Island. They kept running after that, pitching the ball to Patrick Cranston. He's up the sideline, dragging dudes into the end zone. The last five yards are a struggle. But he's in 6 0 for the Islanders after the rugby scrum. And there was more where that came from. The pass from Dawson McGowan over the middle to Luke Casho, who jogs into pay dirt untouched. Middletown gets the shutout victory 27 0. Central Falls going for its first win of the year, hosting Tollgate out of Division 4 tonight. The Warriors in the red zone, but pushed back by the Titans' defense. Nathan Gamba Massey blowing up the run in the backfield, but they couldn't hold CF back for long in this second half. Jay Del Santiago takes the handoff around the outside. He hops past the plane. Central Falls winning on defense and offense. This play right here, it's a pick that's brought down at the one yard line. Warriors 38, Titans nothing. Smithfield against North Smithfield, and no, they are not the same town. Winner gets above 500 in Division 4. Early on, the Sentinels hand it to their big man and they dare you to stop it. Aaron Archibald bouncing off defenders and ripping off a huge touchdown run. Home team goes up seven to zip. Later on, they're backed up and disaster strikes here. A fumble in the end zone recovered by the Northmen. Devin Brotka jumps on the loose ball for six points. That's how this ball game gets tied, but that's the only score that North Smithfield would get tonight, though. Smithfield takes over from there, 32 to seven. Up in Massachusetts, Somerset Berkeley on a four game winning streak, celebrating its seniors against Old Rochester. The Raiders knocking on the door, quarterback keeper for Brendan McDonald, he punches it in for the TD, but Old Rochester able to use some ground and pound as well. They burst through the hole to find pay dirt. Both these teams lighting up the scoreboard tonight. SB falls by a final score of 49 to 35. Diamond undefeated on the year, taking on Southeastern Regional Votek to try and stay unbeaten. The Bengals going for the pop pass. What a grab this is by Logan Uon. All hands, what a play. Ooh, ah, Diamond going up 24 to 13. Later on, they're lined up to punt. This ball hits the receiver, so it's a live ball, and Diamond is all over it. Aiden Bigelow jumping on the pigskin. They bleed the clock out from there. Diamond is 5-0, and 24-13. Oh, Case hosting Bourne in a South Coast League showdown. The Canalman running the ball to the outside. Malachi Coelho spinning in for six points, and Coelho not done on the night. He'd get the ball again. This one, he gets a little less dizzy. He is in there standing up. The final score from this one, 45 to 18. Bourne defeats Case. That's all for pick six. Stick around. More sports next.